Hey, this is Chase Dehart. I'm about to show you how to Smith Hard 180 on the How Tuesday at RobBMX.com. So for a Smith Hard 180, it's a pretty basic trick. Obviously, you want to know how to Smith grind. You want to know how to 180. To apply both is just like the best way I could describe it is doing a Smith grind and using it like an old school bunny hop on your way out, like just like picking your bike up at once, like more so the back end. It's just one motion. If you like. Even if you do like a little edge ride on a curb or something, it's just like, it's just one motion, like kicking your back end and then kick it again. I would definitely suggest trying it on a pretty tall ledge to give yourself time. A small ledge is pretty safe to learn it on, but it's going to be hard to get the full rotation. If you want to just get used to spinning like a 90 on a low ledge, you know, go practice on a low ledge, spin a 90, but definitely a higher ledge is going to give you a full 180. It's a pretty basic trick to get around. It's pretty easy to get a full 180 out of this Smith Hard. I feel like it's the easiest of hard 180 grinds, if you ask me. The basically the ledge you're watching me doing on is pretty ideal. It's a short ledge. It's pretty tall. I mean, not tall, but it's, you know, got a good height to give you time to turn around. You definitely want to just have a quick Smith. It's one motion that you want to kick your back end out and then kick your back end out again and just turn your body right with it. So a nice quick ledge or the end of a ledge is usually the only time you really see people do Smith Hard 180s. As far as like the way your body should be, I would just, I like to be completely lean forward. Like I don't like to lean, you know, I like to just want, like I said, just one motion, like just jumping into a Smith, completely, completely ready to go off the end of the ledge and just kicking my back end, swinging my back end around as much as I can. Usually like use your front peg a little bit. Definitely don't be afraid to like, you know, like lift your back end up first. Like I said, don't do the, don't pull up your front end. That's terrible. Definitely pick up your back end and, and just like, and just kind of swoop it. Just kind of like, you, you'll get the feel for it. You practice on a ledge that you're not scared of and you'll see. I would just try it on small ledges where you're not afraid to cut your back end and afraid to, to 90 off and not fully rotate and you'll see quickly that even on low ledges you could get fully around. Uh, that wraps up the how to Smith Hard 180 on RobDMX.com. I hope it taught you something anyway. Hopefully you watch it. I tried to do it as pretty robotic as I could and tried to show like the emotion of how it's done and hopefully it helps you out.